So to begin with, uh, Adam, can you explain a little bit about the significance of Bitcoin ETFs, especially BlackRock's one, and where you see the Bitcoin market going from here? Well, the, the significant, Alistair, of, of the Bitcoin ETFs is, um, one, it brought those traditional players into the Bitcoin and crypto world. So it brought, you, you mentioned BlackRock, uh, Fidelity, Franklin Templeton, and these are companies, some of which were actually kind of in the crypto world. Fidelity, Franklin Templeton have actually been pretty heavy in the crypto world for a while. Uh, BlackRock, of course, jumped in feet first. I mean, they're just all in, uh, apparently, according to Larry Fink. Um, but the, the significance of it is, again, bringing those traditional players that have their trillions and trillions of dollars of assets in their management to where they can start allocating a little bit into uh, crypto exposure. And of course, the Bitcoin e spot ETFs give us crypto exposure. So that's part of the significance is it opens up trillions and trillions of dollars that are being managed at, uh, on these custodians or through these fund companies to crypto exposure. And in the past, what we've seen, Alistair, as you know, as you well know, is we've we've had uh, larger investors that have been heavily crypto, you know, the, those that were early crypto adopters that have been into it. Then you've had people that dabbled in it uh, during the you know big bull runs in in, say, 2017, 2018 or in 2021 that kind of dabbled in it a, a little bit. Now what we have is kind of easier uh, exposure to the price of Bitcoin via these ETFs. So that's number one. Uh, bring in these tr these traditional money managers, traditional custodians. Then the, the next step to me in, in terms of the impact on Bitcoin and the impact on crypto overall, but but specifically Bitcoin, as you all know, the, the point of Bitcoin or one of the points of Bitcoin is there is this verifiably scarce amount. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin ever created. And a spot ETF, a spot Bitcoin ETF significantly impacts the demand for a for a scarce asset, all right? That means the demand for the Bitcoin spot ETFs now and in the future directly impacts the demand for the, the for Bitcoin. And as you well know, there are very, very few Bitcoin that are available to trade. So there's the, the uh, you know, any, any Bitcoin that's available, of course, Satoshi is not selling his Bitcoin. Michael Saylor is not selling his Bitcoin. So who else is going to sell? And, and those that want to buy into the Bitcoin spot ETFs are indirectly, are actually directly uh, making those fund companies go into the market and buy more Bitcoin. And we've already seen the numbers. I know Bitwise kind of publishes their numbers every day. They actually publish their wallet address so we can go watch it. But they talk about how many Bitcoin they've had to go buy in the market to satisfy the demand of their ETFs. So, again, one is these traditional players getting in. Two is the Bitcoin spot ETFs have a direct impact on the demand for Bitcoin and therefore the price of Bitcoin because of, of the fixed supply. The third point I'll get to is it kind of signals a loosening of regulation in the U.S. around Bitcoin and around crypto. Right? The SEC was staunchly digging their heels in around crypto for so long, not allowing spot ETFs, actually coming out and saying they they feel like crypto is there for uh, scams and laundering money and criminal activity and such, uh, even though you and I and, and many of the people who understand crypto know that that's really not the case so much. But they were staunchly digging their heels in. They either because they were forced to or they chose to kind of let up a little bit here with the Bitcoin spot ETFs, I think that's a signal of regulatory easing here in the U.S., which means we might very well see an ETH ETF soon. It means we might see other uh, regulations kind of loosen up, whether that's through the Department of Labor and 401k rules, whether that is is through the, uh, the Fed, uh, you know, the Fed and the, and the Treasury Department through the OCC or whatever it might be, kind of a loosening because when when all these other firms can, you know, go to whoever the regulator is and say, hey, the SEC allowed the spot ETF, I guess crypto is OK. It, it's kind of a signal of maybe some loosening of regulatory policy. 